Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin and we're gonna be looking at our logarithmic regression rainbow. If you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump in. So it's been a while since we looked at this chart. I wanted to do a general update on where we stand within the grand scheme of the market cycle. So if you're new to this chart, we generally have these reaccumulation phases when we're in sort of the bear market, sort of the tail end of the bear market and the reaccumulation phase going into the next cycle. And one of the things we know about this chart is that the same regression region has been our accumulation region this cycle in the same way that it was last cycle. The key difference between this cycle and last cycle was that this cycle had a, le a little bit more intra-cycle volatility as opposed to the last cycle, which basically just stayed within this, within this corridor. So the current cycle, while it did stay within this corridor for basically from November of 2018 up until November of 2020, so a good solid two years in that area, we did have a brief exit that took us up to the next regression band and a brief capitulation that took us down to this one. There are some similarities between this cycle and the last cycle. And then also, if you look at the cycle before, the accumulation band was actually one band higher, which also corresponded to the same band that we had more or less the accumulation zone in the prior cycle before that one, somewhere in this ballpark. But it does see it somewhat somewhat fuzzy in this region because it's just it, it more or less just started going up at that time. So you have your accumulation regions each market cycle. This one so far has had more intra-cycle volatility. You can see that we made a major move up to this one right here. Okay, so we've moved up two regression lines from the accumulation zone. Now, one thing to consider that we have discussed before is the fact that so far, we have not made it to the same regression band that the prior cycle made it to. For instance, this cycle went up to this red one at the top, the next cycle only made it to the purple one, and then this one made it basically to the yellow one. So each one is sort of coming down with the idea that we will see sort of these diminishing returns as we navigate through each market cycle. That's why I always say, you know, to some degree, time is on our side because these bands are still monotonically increasing. So as long as, even if you don't make it to the prior band, you still theoretically have a lot of room to grow as long as you're spending the time necessary to do so. So if the idea is that we cannot make it to the prior regression band from the prior cycle, as you can see that this one dropped down to this one, and then this one dropped down to here, if that's the idea, then we may assume that this sort of this like yellowish one, this yellowish regression band sort of in between here is, is going to be a limit that we can never quite reach. Now, I'm not going to say that we can't reach it definitively or decisively because of course anything is possible, but if history is any indication, then it would not be possible. And if you're curious, the current range for that regression band currently starts at a modest 108,000 and goes all the way up to 186,000. So I'm not saying that Bitcoin can never make it to 108,000 because I think it will, and I think there's a decent chance that it will this market cycle. I just don't think it's about to go there tomorrow because if it were to go there tomorrow, then we're essentially getting into the same regression band that we peaked at last cycle, and we have never done that before. We just simply have not been able to accomplish that type of a feat in the past. So what I would assume is that that regression band is going to be a little bit too far extended for us to theoretically reach. Okay, so for instance, the top of this regression band, which is where we basically went last cycle, is currently at $186,000. That would be though if we went there today. Now, a year from now, we know that these bands will continue to move up, right? They're, they're moving up relatively quickly. So as they, as they do continue to move up, we know that their targets would also move up with them. So for instance, if, they, if it were to move up something like this, then by say January of 2023, the upper part of this might be close to 350,000, which I think is sort of an unobtainable point for Bitcoin to reach by that time. Of course, I would love to be proven wrong on that. Now, one other thing to consider, and this is where Bitcoin could make history, is that it has never, it not only has it never moved to the, to the regression band that it hit last cycle, it's also never moved to the regression band below the band that it hit the prior cycle. For instance, 
this one came into the red one, but the next cycle did not even make it to the, the one below this one, okay? It actually went down two. Um, I used to say two and a half, which they are about two and a half log lines down. We've already broken through that this cycle. Um, now, and then again, if you look at this cycle peak, which went to the purple region, the next one not only did not make it to the purple region, but it also did not make it to the orange one. It more or less peaked out right at the bottom here of the, or right in between these yellow ones. So here, if you look at where we currently are, we're currently testing the line. We're testing that line right there. And if we break above it, it would be the first time in Bitcoin's history that it's able to go to a regression line one below the prior cycle top, okay? Now, in order to get into that regression line, if you zoom in, if you zoom in, you can see we, we actually had a very, very slight wick into it. But in order to decisively move into it and, and start to see candles moving up it, we would need to, at minimum, get to a price of 62,844 in the short term. And remember, these regression lines are moving up literally every single day. So if we were to go to 62,000, so if we start closing candles, 65K, 70K, 75K, then we're definitely going to be in this regression band. And in order for us to get again into the same regression band that we more or less peaked at during the last market cycle, at least um, at the top of it, it would correspond to going to $180,000 in the short term, which I do think is a little bit too far fetched. Although maybe we'll make it there um, uh, at some point later this cycle. I don't necessarily think we're gonna make it to $180,000 uh, this quickly. So just sort of looking at the grand scheme of the market cycle, of course, anything is possible. But again, just looking at what, what is history dictated in the past, and it's that regression bands, the, the peak regression, or the, the, the regression band that Bitcoin peaked in was an, an unobtainable limit for the following market cycle. So for instance, to, to really put that in perspective so that a lot of people might be able to appreciate it, Last cycle, if we had gone to the same regression band that the cycle before had gone to, instead of peaking at $20,000, we would have gone all the way up to around $80,000. So we would have gone up another 4x had we been able to go to the same regression band that the one the cycle before it reached. So again, that seems like it would have been really hard to do to go to $80,000, but at the time, a lot of people were calling for $50,000 Bitcoin, $100,000 Bitcoin in the not so distant future, and then you saw how quickly things changed. So what I would say here is that, yeah, we could theoretically move into this regression band, um, but in order to get to the top of this one this quickly, I think it's too soon. And if it were to happen, it would basically be completely changing the entire market cycle structure of Bitcoin that we've come to know over the last 11 years. So just something to keep in mind. We'll see if we're actually able to break past this barrier and decisively move into it. Remember the top of this gray one would correspond to approximately 108,000, which would be very remarkable if Bitcoin were able to do something like that. Now, if you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel and give the video a thumbs up. We also have the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Finally, remember the, the altcoin season sale is ending in two days. So if you want access to the weekly reports and videos, the Telegram alerts channel, the Telegram chat room, the risk dashboard, the Into the Cryptoverse app, and more stuff coming in the next quarter, make sure you guys check out the description below for the link to the altcoin season sale. That'll be ending in two days and you can lock in the lower rate. Thank you guys for tuning in. Let's go for 280,000 subscribers So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up, click the bell icon to turn on your alerts, and I will see you next time. Bye.